You know what time of year it is? It's back to school time. I hope you have your pencil ready. You never know when there might be a pop quiz. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What was the first comic book you ever read? I love comics. I consider myself lucky to remember Mad Magazine being the first comic book I was introduced to. This very same issue, in fact. Today, we're gonna to talk about Western Publishing. They're the company responsible for publishing little golden books. They also publish everything from board games, to puzzles, to comics, you name it. In 1938, Western Publishing formed a partnership with Dell Comics. Dell would finance and distribute publications that Western would produce. In 1962, Western ended this partnership and published the comics themselves, establishing the imprint Gold Key Comics. In the late 1970s, we would begin to see comics under the Whitman Comics banner. Dell would sometimes release thick comic books that were two or more times the size of a typical issue. They released a series of numbered Dell Giant comics with each issue featuring various characters. These characters would include Bugs Bunny, Tom and Jerry, Woody Woodpecker, and many others. Uncle Scrooge made more appearances in the Dell Giant series than any other character. And since it's back to school time, it seems only fitting that today we talk about issue number 22, Back to School with Huey, Dewey, and Louie. This issue does not contain any comics by legendary artist Carl Barks, but it still maintains the level of quality we come to expect from the Duck stories. The cultural influence of Carl Barks cannot be ignored. He was best known for his comics about Donald Duck and as creator of Scrooge McDuck. He is also the creator of The Beagle Boys, Gyro Gearloose, Gladstone Gander, and countless other characters. Many years later, these characters appeared in the animated television series, DuckTales. This show paved the way for future Disney cartoons, such as Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, and Darkwing Duck. Donald Duck and Uncle Scrooge comics are considered to be some of the best comics of all time. It's for good reason they receive this recognition. Most comic books written for children are full of bad jokes, continuity errors, and stories that go nowhere. But these comics are written for all ages. The Duck stories are well researched. There's even a Donald Duck family tree. Now, let's talk about the comic. The first story here is called The Dramatic Dilemma. Huey, Dewey, and Louie have enrolled in the school drama class. Donald is less than supportive and doubts they will have any success. Acting becomes a taboo subject in the Duck household until Donald goes to watch his nephews perform. He is embarrassed by their performance until he overhears a talent scout with big Hollywood plans for the boys. He then decides he wants to jump the bandwagon and be an actor too and convinces his nephews to let him tag along. After being shut down by the Hollywood director, Donald decides to sneak on set that is filmed in a jungle compound. There's a real lion on set. An interesting note, this lion is named Simba, like Disney's Lion King. Also on set is a realistic lion costume that looks identical to Simba. After Donald sees Huey and Dewey step out of the costume, he decides to show that he can do it better. What Donald doesn't realize is that the real lion has been released on set. After almost being eaten alive, as can be expected, Donald ruins the boy's chance at fame. It's going to be a long drive back to Duxburg. Another interesting story is the Junior Geniuses. In this story, Gyro Gearloose is in danger of losing his job, so he... experiments on a student's brains? Gyro has promised the principal he can create geniuses in five minutes. The principal has arranged a contest between Gyro's students and the State University. After being hooked up to Gyro's machine, the children spot Gus Goose in the supply room and they give him a lesson in proper leverage. 
we learn that apparently the genius juices wear off after about five minutes. In addition to a lesson in simple technology, we're also taught that even more important in knowledge is doing what is right, as they use their brains to save the superintendent's life. We're treated to several stories such as the Cupcake Crisis featuring Grandma Duck, the mascot mystery with Daisy Duck, and the trip to Madagascar with Uncle Scrooge. All stories feature Huey, Dewey, and Louie. There's also an activity section of the book. There's a connect the dots that's already been done for us apparently, Daisy's picture anagrams, bookmarks, several other puzzles, a color by numbers. There's even a growth chart so you can see how much you've grown over the school year. One last thing, have you ever wondered how to tell the nephews apart? In the early comic books and cartoons, the hats of Huey, Dewey, and Louie were colored randomly. It wasn't until much later that it became established that Huey is dressed in red, Dewey in blue, and Louie wears green. Well, that wraps up today's edition of Animation Treasures. Be sure to subscribe to catch all my videos as soon as they're posted. Also, comment below to let me know what character you'd like to see me talk about next, and I'll pick the character that has the most votes. See you soon!